Hello again viewers, this was not planned but kindly I got a lift off Barry and we're in the Cabo Roig and we're going to take a walk down the strip. How exciting is that? It's about a million degrees here today. It's taps off weather as we say in Scotland, definitely. So we're going to take a wee walk. Barry's going to let you know about a few pubs. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome, let's go. How you doing Barry? Good, how are you? <laughs> Not too bad. It's been some day. It's been some day, I've been taking everywhere by this man here. Thank you so much. That's okay. We've got some more videos on the channel. At the end, I'll leave a link to uh, other videos coming soon. Villa Martin, Player Flamenca yeah. as well. And we're at the Cavalry Strip. Down at the Cavalry Strip, it's like a mini Benidorm. A mini Benidorm. How exciting is that, viewers? We've got the Benidorm videos to come. Yeah. So we thought we'd do mini Benidorm mini, first. Do mini Benidorm That's first. That's it. I wasn't planning to come here, but Barry kindly has offered to give me a lift around a few places today. So let's go. He was telling me there's a couple of new bars across the road. I'll just point over to them. Here, new yeah, Fiesta. The Fiesta Grill Bar. That's, That's just opened in the last month or so. Okay. So, and then next door to it, you have the Laughing Leprechaun. The Laughing Leprechaun. Laughing Leprechaun. Okay. And then in the corner you've got the Cabaroig Inn. Cabaroig Inn. And that's sort of the top end of the strip. The top end of the strip. So we're going to take a wee walk down the strip. Apologies, yours. I was showing you the Fiesta bar there. I pressed the wrong button and you should see the close up of my face and the mistake there. And as you know, I can't be bored editing, so you just have to look at my wee face for a second. Uh, let's take a wee walk here. Now, there was one thing I was very surprised at when I came up here with Barry. Um, it's a lot bigger than I expected. Yep. So we've got the strip with all these bars and restaurants here. Across here, we've got some, what would you say, adult entertainment bars? Yes, there's adult entertainment. Yes. Across the road. Very adult entertainment. <laughs> Very adult. <laughs> across the road, the Joe Carrey. Now you were telling me, this used to be a bar. This used to be a bar, yeah, and it shut down during Covid. Oh. And uh, KFC bought it. Okay. So it, was, uh, it used to be a really, really good bar as well. But it's now a KFC, so it's the first KFC in this area. There you go, and exclusive. It's exclusive, <laughs> exclusive news here, yeah. viewers. And this is the bushwhacker. The bushwhacker. We were just in there, we had a wee coke um, because it's pretty hot here, so we enjoyed yeah. just sitting there having a wee drink. It's a very nice bar inside, actually. Um, and you're saying they do live music in yeah, there, yeah? Yeah, live entertainment there most nights. Okay, nice one. You can follow them on Facebook and was that Instagram, I think, yeah? yeah it's a nice bar inside. So there's quite a lot of Irish bars on this trip. What's what's the history here? Uh, why do so many Irish come to this area? I have no idea. That's something <laughs> that I've honestly tried to find out. It's just a big, massive Irish area. Yeah. But, uh, and I've got a viewer who sent me a wee message. I've just noticed it on Facebook. I'll give you a wee reply. Sorry. Barry maybe come in and do a, a, an extended video here with some of yes. the bars here. Yep. Um, I'll send you a wee message, there's quite a few Irish bars here. Next time I come back maybe we'll do a more in-depth one, but I'll show you some of them anyway. So we've got, is that O'Riordan's? O'Riordan's, yep. Already pretty busy at this time. Yeah. Time's at one o'clock. It is. Yeah, it's ten to two. Ten to two? Oh, see, time flies. Ten to two. Now, you Smiling were telling me, Jacks. Smiling Jacks. That's the oldest Irish bar in the area. Okay, and it's funny because it, it doesn't look like an Irish bar from the front, does it? I know. Smiling Jacks, the oldest Irish bar in the area. There we go, viewers. It's the original. The original? Yeah. Okay. Let's continue. A wee restaurant here. A set menu, 11 90 Affordable prices. This is McCafferty's bar. McCafferty's, yeah, that is. There's a, there's a few of the McCaffrey's bar room a bit here. Okay, so I think that's the one that I mentioned. I'm sorry that I've not had time to come in and arrange a meeting, but we'll come in next time, don't worry. And um, McCaffrey, maybe Barry will come in and we'll be chat. Looks like a lovely old traditional Irish bar. It goes all the way back there as well. That's the import of the bar. The Irish bars here, that's the import of the Wolf Island. <laughs> so, so it looks like an authentic Yeah, yeah, Irish just bar every, everything in, but it certainly does. It certainly does. Looks nice. The live music on seven nights a week. There you go, that's my kind of place, live music, seven nights a week. Yolo Sports Bar, there's quite a few of those in Tenerife. Yep. Different chain but it looks at like this one, but quite a popular name. They've got entertainment on as well, I can see. We've got George Michael and some soul, soul music on there as well. Tom Jones. Tom Jones, there he is. I might see him in Benidorm, Tom Jones, Benidorm, Tom Jones. So we've got another bar coming up here, is this another Irish one, the Trinity? Trinity, it's that. It's, it's, a, 
there's a theme going on down here. Yeah, a theme going on. Across the road, I've just noticed, that's a big bar, Horrigans, yeah, Horrigans yeah. as well. Bikini bar as well. As I said, we have got some more, uh, let's say, adult entertainment bars across the road. But we're not going to go over there, we're just going to show these ones just now, okay? And they don't open till late at night anyway, so no point, viewers. We'll just head down this way. Hold on, viewers. Wait a minute. Where's the St Mum top? No St Mum top here. <laughs> Hi. Okay, Guinness official Irish pub, the Trinity. We've got a chipper down there as well. Down Morgan's. Down at the back. Oh, Morgan's, yeah, as well. So, a lot of bars here. Yeah, there's a lot of ones going up the side street, and there's, there's some bars on, on the other side as well. They have a St. Patrick's Day parade here. Okay. And in 2019, there were 10,000 people on the strip for the St. Patrick's Day parade. I think half of Ireland flies over oh. for it because generally at that time of year, the weather is good. Yeah. And uh, obviously the Irish like to get away from the miserable weather at that time of year <laughs> in Ireland and come over here. And um, 10,000, 10, that is amazing. Yeah. Viewers, look at the information Barry's given you. I'll leave a link to his channel in the comments and the description. Check out Scottish Couple in Spain. They've got a great channel, Barry and Karen. I'll leave a wee link. And you've done some videos I've here as well. I've done some videos about the Cabaroy Parade, yeah. It's okay. It's an unbelievable scene. Brilliant. If I remember, when we go back, I'll add your video yep. to the end card here. Okay. At the end of the video, you can click on it. So, subscribe free to Barry's channel. He's got lots of videos in this area. If you're a fan of this area, um, you've got videos in Villa Flamenca. Um, Player Flamenca and Villa Martin. Oh, I get mixed up between yeah. the two of them there, sorry. Yeah, Player Flamenca and Villa Martin. La Mafia, that's a chain. Oh. They've actually opened one up in Player Flamenca. Okay. Looks lovely inside. Really nice restaurant inside. Hello. Hello there. Welcome in España. Thank you. And <laughs> La Mafia. Yeah, it looks nice. So, yeah. You can see how far the strip goes down. Yeah, that's a long, a long way down here. What time are these bars open till right, Barry? Um, there's it's more the restaurants weekend. down this side. You've got Orin's, which is a sports bar. Yep. But then the Cabaroy strip, it's, it's open till about four in the morning. Four in the morning? Yeah. Okay. So if you're coming over somewhere, it, it is all holiday homes down here. There is only one hotel yep. close by. It's not like the likes of Benidorm. Yeah, home. yeah. It is, it's a massive area, but it is all holiday homes. Yeah. So you can do. Rent and things like that here as well. Yeah, okay, good information there. Thanks, Barry. So there's more restaurants up here. I can already see we've got the Spanish bookies, what's it called? Orin's. Mm, yeah. I've been in that one in Alicante. Uh, you might have heard the story before, viewers. I went in uh, the bar in Alicante. Champions League was on, I think it was Real Madrid, Man City. This was a few years yeah. ago, not the, not the recent one. And uh, I went to the bar and I said, What beer have you got? And the girl was trying to show me a couple of uh, beers, but she couldn't speak much English. And the guy standing at the bar next to me just went, mate, just order a pint of tennis lager, will you? <laughs> <laughs> he was from Glasgow. <laughs> I said, no thanks, I'll have the, the Spanish beer. <laughs> uh, I can't remember what it was, but it was nice anyway. So if you want to be bet, you can go in here, they show the football, Champions League, all that sort of stuff as well. Yeah, it's open just now. This is a new restaurant that owned a couple of months ago. In fact, that owned just before St. Patrick's Day this year. Bella Beer? Yeah. Looks nice. And I've just noticed you're saying there's not many hotels here. There's a wee apart hotel yeah. just above it. A wee Indian restaurant. There's quite a lot of Indian restaurants in this area, yeah. isn't there? There is. Murphy's. Another Irish bar. The Irish bar built later on, a bit early for some of these bars, I'd imagine. Live music, cocktails, what more can you ask for, viewers? So, if you notice across the road, some clubs, let's call it, that are open to later on as well. I don't even know how do you, you can get across the road, Barry. It looks a bit, uh, the, bit, a bit there's busy. A there's a walkway. There's a walkway at either side of the strip. Right, okay. Yeah. It's a good news viewers. So I think that, that street's a bit busy for walking over, but yeah. there's a wee walkway if you want to nip across there late at night, go for it. So we've got the Balti Tower as well, another Indians. 
I could easily move out to the Costa Blanca. They've got everything I need here. What's the name of this place? The Pirate something? The Pirates. Set venues, 11.95, not bad. Another one, King of Tandoori Indian restaurant. I have to mention this place. Okay, here we go, we've got a story here, viewers. Popolino, his dad owns a restaurant, Popolino, up in Torrebecca. Oh. Um, Angelo runs this one. A brilliant Italian family, they've been out here for years, and the food and pizza is absolutely sublime. Okay, all nice the, recommendation. All the, the pizza goes on, everything's made fresh every day, and it's, uh, every couple of days, and you know, it's, it's just it's an amazing restaurant. It's always busy, always busy. Always busy? Yeah. Okay, so that'll be probably be open later on, so then yeah. is a, a recommendation for you. Piccolino. Okay, there's the opening hours. Five o'clock until midnight. So we've came too early, Barry. We've came too early. But uh, Barry says it's a family run restaurant. You can see it's got a lot of good reviews. I can yeah. see in Google 4.5. Yeah, TripAdvisor as well. TripAdvisor as well. So that'll be open later on. Indoor golf range. I wasn't expecting that. Indoor golf range. There you go, golfers. There's a lot of golf courses, Barry, isn't there? Around here, there's, golf, there's about three golf courses within a ten-minute drive. Ten-minute drive. From here. There's a lot of golfers that come here, definitely. Yep. Um, so golfers are coming here, and you want to be about practice. You've got the indoor golf golf range. Maybe you're here as a group. You just want something different. You've got Havana down there as well. There's a lot of wee bars just off the yeah, side streets, isn't there? Bars up the side street and the back as well. Yeah, we've got a wee buffet restaurant here as well. A few places down there. The buffet's $13.95 for adults, $9.95 for children. Here's another wee hidden gem if you're in your craft beers. Quite hard to get places with craft beers, I find in Spain, there's not yeah. that many. So we've got a wee place here. Now, you won't miss it because the name of the bar is the Craft Beer Bar. So the clue is in the name. And the 12 taps of fresh cold beer. Sounds good. That sounds, sounds, uh, sounds uh, uh, definitely it sounds good. They've got happy on as well. Cocktails, five euros. But open later on again, we've came too early. JC's happy place, a pizza place here as well. Ah, oh, there's the bridge you were talking, is that how you yeah. go over, yeah? Yeah, there's one at this end and there's one at the top end. Okay. There well. you go, viewers, a wee bridge to get you across the dual carriageway. Another Irish bar, yeah? Mamma Mia, another Italian restaurant. Again, it'll be open later on. Have you done any videos at night here, Barry? No, I'm going no? to be doing them next week, though. Next week, there you go, viewers. If you ever needed a reason to subscribe to Barry's channel, there it is. He's going to do a nighttime video. I think at nighttime, all places look a bit different, don't they? Yeah, they do. It's yeah. a lot busier. A lot busier? A lot busier. Okay, yeah. well, we'll check it out at night. So I think that's probably concluding the tour of the strip, isn't it? Is there anybody else yeah. I missed uh, here? that's just the back street of the strip. Okay. No worries. Well, Barry, thanks very much for bringing me here, first of all. Okay, thank you. Um, I really appreciate it and all your local knowledge and your wee tips there. Do me a wee favour, guys. Uh, when you leave this video, hit the subscribe button on Barry's channel. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost a penny. I'll leave a link in the comments. Just click on it. If you like the Costa Blanca in Spain, you're going to love this guy's channel um, and Carmen as well. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.